Hey there guys, welcome back to AFC Game by Game. This is my review of Arsenal's loss at the Britannia Stadium today to Stoke City. The final score being Stoke 1, Arsenal 0. Really, really, really hard not to overreact after that performance. Um, some would say we did everything right apart from putting the ball in the back of the net. I'd be slightly inclined to agree with that, but... The cynic in me says that I saw a lot of the same old problems that I've seen time and time and time again with Arsenal and particularly Arsene Wenger's managerial tactics. It was, for me, the lineup was questionable right from the get-go. I thought the midfield um, was the only part of that team and, and the front three as well that was pretty much spot on. But beyond that, the defence, extremely questionable. That back three of Mustafi, Monreal and Kolasinac, once again, unbelievably confusing once again why would we choose that after it proved to be such a, a negative in that game against Leicester City shipping three goals the only real change there being Mustafi coming in for Rob Holding but beyond that playing Monreal once again at the heart of a back three just absolutely bewilders me we've got Per Mertzacker our club captain an experienced World Cup winning centre half on the bench fit to play play him in the middle of that back three, play Monreal on the left and play Mustafi on the right-hand side, play Kolasinac in his right position, don't play Hector Bellerin in that left wing back role, it's, he's out of position, it doesn't make sense whatsoever, he doesn't perform to the best of his ability there, unbelievably bewildering in that sense and the defence was as open as it was against Leicester City, there were no changes, no improvements there whatsoever, uh, again what does Steve Bold actually bring to this Arsenal team, what is his actual job within the team apart from being a yes man and I don't want to you know, what, uh, two games into the season be massively reactionary because there are a lot of positives to take from this game. We created, uh, you know, a shed load of chances. We should have had a penalty. Um, we scored a goal, which some would say was perfectly decent. Lacazette's foot was about about a couple of centimetres offside. Any other day that would have been given. We were very unfortunate there. On another day, we could have won this game 2-1. But then again, you look at the goal, we conceded how easy it was for Stoke. They had to create one chance in this game. They put it in the back of the net. And we were nowhere near as tested by Stoke as we have been in the past which is really really concerning they didn't have to do a lot to beat us today and that is really re really worrying and we had to do so much to try and create a clear-cut chance and you know arguably we did create a lot of opportunities throughout the course of this game but Danny Welbeck had a shed load of opportunities didn't put any in the back of the net um, Lacazette not overly convincing in today's game Moza Ozil didn't have to, he had a rather poor performance in fact the only real shining light of in today's game was Aaron Ramsey off we had a very good game in midfield Oxlade Chamberlain once again playing in that uh, right wing back role today Hector Bellerin playing on the left hand side um, I thought he had a fairly good game but again his final ball not uh, not not particularly the best um, but yeah it's, it, it's again I'm just repeating what I've said season after season it was a, kind of the same old with Arsenal today um, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say to be fair uh, as I say I don't want to be particularly reactionary but today's performance just highlighted uh, all the all, all the errors that we've still got within this team and we are still so far off winning the league um, we're nowhere we're nowhere near getting close to competing for the league title this season. You look at Man United, uh, again, I don't want to judge them too early on, but two games, they've scored eight goals, conceded none. They look a lot more solid than we do. Arguably, they have only played West Ham United and Swansea away. Um, not the not the best, greatest opposition, but still, we played Leicester, we played Stoke. Four points from a possible six wouldn't have been the worst start to the season. We've got three out of six. That I think, for me, that is pretty poor. We should have been getting six points out of six from these two games. Um, I, again, um, it's a difficult place to go to, Stoke. Uh, I think a lot of teams are going to struggle there this season. But the, the manner of the performance today, the way we've created chances, the way we've not been able to put them in the back of the net, the ease of opportunity it was for Stoke where they got that one, one, where they got that one goal uh, through Hesse, who was very lethal for them, very clinical in this game, worked really, really hard. Um, as I say, they didn't have to do a great deal to beat us. And that, is, for me, is a, is a real, real concern. Um, the fact we're still playing players out of position, the likes of Bellerin playing on the left-hand side today, uh, the, the likes of Nacho Monreal playing in the heart of a back three he's a left back not a centre back um, how long how much longer are we going to persist with this for the fact that we've got someone like Mertzak on the bench and we're not playing him it's the problems that we've seen time and time and time again and it, it, it's, it's not doing Arsene Wenger any favours he's got this new two year deal now he's got to start making the right decisions and today for me that team lineup wasn't right the way this game uh, pans out you know it's typ typical Arsenal that we do all the right things we, we're not clinical in front of goal uh, one opportunity against us Stoke City take it and they, they've come out and won the game there was nothing really clear cut from us no real opportunities 
instances where I can think, oh, wow, we really did deserve to score in that instance. Apart from Lacazette's uh, offside goal, then I, I can't think of too many chances that we had where, apart from, you know, Aaron Ramsey had a chance that was right at uh, Jack Butland. I mean, Butland had a good game today, but everything that we put at him was right at him, uh, as we've particularly done in the past. So I don't really know what to say on that matter. Um, Arsenal, incredibly frustrating once again today. Uh, it, it's our first loss of the season. That's the unbeaten season uh, down the pan already. Um, yeah, don't know what to think, to be fair. I just hope that we're able to rectify this result with a win against Liverpool next week. But for me, that defence is incredibly shaky at the minute. All the good work we did last season defensively, where we moved to this back three, where we saw so much improvement. Callum Chambers not in the Arsenal team once again today. We really does surprise me after Gabriel's been let go to Valencia, a player that I thought looked very promising in that right centre-back role. Uh, we've let him go. Um, and to then not bring Callum Chambers back into the fold of things really does... It's perplexing. It really is. Um, so I'm not too sure what the future holds. I'm not too sure what's going to be going on in that game against Liverpool. We evidently need another central midfielder. Whether Jack Wilsh is the answer to that, I don't think so, given his injury record. We need to bring in someone like Seri from Nice. Uh, we, need that, we need to bolster the midfield because Jacker as much faith and as much promise uh, I think he has, I do still think that we need another option or alternative to some, someone to take the weight off Granite Jacker's shoulders because evidently he's not going to be able to do it throughout the course of the whole season. Once again, a sloppy pass resulting in Stoke City's goal today. Um, so again, underlying problems within this Arsenal team. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We're two games into the season, uh, but I still think in, in this team's current guys, we are a million miles away off winning the league. I really genuinely do think we are not close to challenging yet. When I look at the likes of Manchester City, the team they're building, I look at Man United, the goals they're scoring and the clean sheets they're keeping. Again, it's very extremely early on in the season to be making these kind of judgments. But from what I've seen from Arsenal, from what I've seen over the past 10 years supporting this club, or you know, supporting this club all my life, but from from the past 10 years that I've seen, particularly from this move to the Emirates Stadium, um, it, it's kind of, it's very, very similar what I saw today. The the, the Arsenal of old, the Arsenal of now, it's it, it's an Arsenal team that I want to see change. And I, I, thought, I would have thought that changing system last season would have spurred us on to, uh, on to a new lease of life. But evidently, judging by today's performance, that's not forthcoming. I just hope that we get these new signings in that we need because, as I say, we're still a way off challenging yet and I don't want to be us just winning another FA Cup this season. As good as that would be, I want to see us challenging. I want to see us competing for the title. We've got two weeks, less than two weeks now, I believe, to get the signings in, to get the players out of our squad as well. Arsenal says we've got 33 players in the team. Those aren't 33 quality players. Let's not kid ourselves. There are players in this team, the likes of Matthew Debushi, Carl Jenkinson, players that we need to omit from this team as soon as possible. If we're to bring in the likes of Lamar, Seri, the players we want to attract to Arsenal Football Club. But today was not a good advert for Arsenal. Um, I mean, judging by today's performance, what player is going to want to join Arsenal Football Club? I just hope that we have the the lure, the attraction um, from our name that's able to bring these players into the team. Because as I say, we need we need numbers, we need quality and depth. And I don't think we have that at the minute. Um, but yeah. Yeah, maybe I'm being reactionary. I probably am. A um, lot of positives to take out of today's performance, and uh, if we can get the players in, then maybe we can we can rectify this result. I mean, it wasn't too long ago that we were losing 3-1 to Aston Villa on the first day of the season, and then not too long after that, went on a brilliant, brilliant run, and uh, we were top of the table for a while. So, who knows? Maybe that can happen. Maybe we can get on a great run, but uh, today was the Arsenal of old, and that's an Arsenal that I don't want to see anymore. Anyway, guys, please do get your thoughts in the comments box below. Let me know if I'm being too reactionary. Please do uh, drop a like on the video if you somehow enjoyed it. Subscribe to AFC Game by Game and I'll be speaking to you very, very soon.